The beatings will continue until morale improves. It is hard to imagine why so many Russian soldiers are surrendering to Ukraine without a fight instead of fighting for their country. Armed forces of the Russian Federation. Situation. Punishment of Russian soldiers for drinking alcohol. Понял, кошеры, давай нахуй, за алкашей нахуй. Следующему. Кошеры, блядь. Part 1. Russian fascists declared his intention to screw Ukrainians. Part 2. The same Russian fascist gets captured by Ukrainians. While Kadyrov is bragging about the Tesla Cybertruck, and Alaudinov is telling combat tales about the heroism of special forces, Kadyrovites are filling the exchange fund. Another video of captured Kadyrovites in Russia's Kursk region has appeared online. Captured Kadyrovites say what Chechen settlements they are from. <laughs> The 501st Battalion has captured Apanasovka, south of Koronevo. Yesterday, we reported attacks in the settlements, and apparently, things moved fast. More settlements are likely to be announced soon, such as Byakovo and Vishnevka. Novoivanovka and Kulbaki are next. Ukrainian forces captured an MT-12 Rapira 100mm anti-tank gun in the Kursk region. This event happened several days ago. Russian serviceman is shocked by Russian men leaving the Kursk region. He asks them to come back and dig trenches for the boys who will be defending Kursk. Хочется обратиться к мужскому населению Курска. Вы там что вообще, блядь, в края перепутали? Вы куда уезжаете, родные? Если, блядь, у нас все мужики будут включать заднюю и уезжать из городов, на которые будут наноситься удары, блядь, и так далее, что вообще будет? Вы что творите? Вы не можете взять оружие в руки? Ну тогда возьмите лопаты, блядь, копайте пацанам окопы. Я не знаю, развозите питание, блядь. Куда вы уезжаете? Отдайте машины, блядь, свои пацанам, которые, сука, сейчас будут класть жизни свои, блядь, за то, чтобы отбить Курск. Дайте им гражданские тачки, чтобы они могли передвигаться на них хотя бы. Еще что-то. Я смотрю видео и вижу, как вы уезжаете. Вы, блядь, конченые. Я не знаю, у нас в Петербурге сообщество наших ветеранов сейчас все на нервах сидит и думает, как бы им взять оружие и поехать, как договориться, чтобы разрешили. Ukrainian forces captured a completely intact Russian Kamaz 53501 tanker truck at an abandoned base. Russian forces also left behind several cases of brand new unopened Valdai PG-210 holographic sights. A Ukrainian Mi-24 helicopter successfully shot down enemy aerial targets at night, effectively functioning as an air defense system. Russian bloggers accuse the Ministry of Defense of lying about the downed Ukrainian drones. In general, Accusing each other of lying is now a favorite pastime of Russian bloggers and military personnel. I think in psychology they call this stage anger. 
Another type of senseless and obvious lie is the statement about the downing of enemy drones. As a result of falling debris, a fire broke out at an oil depot. If there was a fire at an oil depot, it means the drone hit it, even if he managed to get shot down over her. The drone is considered destroyed if it does not reach the target and does not cause damage. And if it flew and a fire broke out at the facility, it means that you shot him down with an oil depot and he completed his task. Perhaps the authors of such lies justify themselves by saying that they do not want to please the enemy with the fact that his attack was effective. But in this case, there is no need to disseminate footage of a burning oil depot. However, this is unlikely to help. The Western hosts will please them with pictures from their satellites without you. The UAV was either shot down and did not cause damage to the facility, or it was not shot down and a fire broke out at the oil depot. Everything else is hokum of the type. Russia launched 10 missiles. We shot down all 10. There are 11 fires on the ground because they also hit a residential building with their air defense missile. And everyone laughs at them. Why are you repeating after them? Why do you want to be ridiculed? Are you clowns? Liberation of Kursk. Ukrainian soldier asks a happy Russian local if any Ukrainians are picking on her, she says no. He asks if she has enough to eat and drink, she responds with a grin on her face. My friends and I looted some stores. Most Russians live in abject poverty. Washington Post alleges that Russian and Ukraine were meant to meet in Qatar in two months to hold talks about ceasing attacks on energy infrastructure of both countries. Kiev was attacked with missiles in the early hours of the morning. North Korean KN-23 ballistic missiles were used first, followed by Iskander K cruise missiles. Preliminarily, there are no casualties or damage in Kiev, all targets were shot down by air defenses. And pure Ukrainian humor for the end. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.